have you been, Maureen? We haven't seen a video in such a long time. Well, as you can see, I have been gardening. Have a look at our potatoes. Ooh. I know from our post from yesterday, you probably saw that we harvest some of our garlic. We still have probably another 50 bulbs to pull yet, so that's kind of exciting. We've already eaten the broccoli, fantastic, and picked the souchoy. Marissa made an amazing uh, kimchi with it. And we're doing our peas, of course, and things are starting to finally grow. It was a, uh, everything seemed very slow this year. And most of us are attributing it to the very cool spring and then that crazy, crazy pot that we just had just recently. But uh, we've been spending um, almost every day at some point in the day outside. Of course, during the hot spell, we were just laying on our beds with fans on us trying to uh, not die, which every night I died. It just was uh, sad, but then I would be alive in the morning. It was weird. Anyway, so what are we up to today? What are we doing today, Marissa? We are going to fertilize our plants. Right, well, today I was watching that things like watermelon, cantaloupe, pumpkins, they're heavy feeders. And so we wanted to feed our pumpkins, cantaloupe, and watermelon. And so we've got a couple of concoctions that we're gonna be using today. One of them is the last bit of my LAB. So this is, Marissa made this up in the winter and LAB is like a probiotic, really good for your soil. And so what we made it with was rice water and letting it ferment and then adding in whole milk to it, letting that sit, separating the curds in the whey. So this is the whey and the curds we made into cheese way back when. So this is the last of it. And we only added like about two tablespoons into a watering can to do it. But we thought we'd bring you along because we're doing this and we're also going to be using our comfrey tea. So this is comfrey slash weed tea. And I know a little while back I posted on how to make the, the comfrey tea by just putting your weeds and water in there. This stuff stinks. We just call it the stink. We only made a small batch um, of it. I probably could have been adding more water to it. But one of the things we're definitely going to look into is to get some sort of contraption that has a spigot so that we don't have to pour it off and have it splash on us. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Come along. So like I said, the comfrey tea we made in a small batch um, with some comfrey, some weeds and water, and we left it. And this stuff just absolutely stinks. I had to put the lid on it. Um, the flies absolutely love it. And you can just see inside there how gross it is. It's amazing. And apparently it's one part of the tea and 10 parts water. So we're just gonna be putting a little bit of it in. We first brought me this nice big stick. And yeah, it just, um, it just smells awful, but it's supposed to be just an absolutely wonderful thing to give your plants. So like I said, it would be nice if we just had a spigot, but we're gonna have to pour it. So hopefully we won't be making too many mistakes. And then I have a whole bucket of weeds here. We're gonna add to it afterwards just to continue the tea and the ferment that's going on. So this is going to be really, really great and healthy for our plants. Pumpkin, he is looking really good. We've had a lot of difficulties with trying to get things established in here. Some of it, the animals were eating. So we've put some cages over things so that if the deer were coming, they wouldn't step on our, our plants that are, um, are a bit more vulnerable. We could never get the watermelon to grow from seed. We got them out here, they just didn't work. So we ended up buying four watermelons, but three have survived. And this middle one here is binding out. Really exciting. 